Hey all, welcome back to my channel. I have a quick one for you today. Baby Audio just released an amazing update to Transit, the plugin developed in collaboration with Andrew Huang. Transit is one of my most used plugins and I had the huge pleasure of being invited to collaborate with Baby Audio to create quite a few presets for the factory bank in version 2. So I thought we could have a very quick look at these new features and listen to some examples now that the plugin is out. Before I do that, just a little announcement. A couple of weeks ago I released my new EP Solar. It's on all streaming platforms and Bandcamp and I would really love it if you want to check it out. Let's get started. The original version of Transit was an amazing tool to create powerful transitions, and it still is, of course. The macro control and the sequencer are great ways to perform or automate parameter variations in the seven available slots. Version 2 sort of expands on this idea with four brand new motion modes. Let's have a look at them. <laughs> Now you can choose to use the follower mode, which is a very cool envelope follower that reacts to the intensity of the audio coming uh, from the track, something like this. You have the LFO mode, which uses a configurable LFO to um, sort of move the parameters dynamically. The LFO has four different shapes, and of course it can be synced to your DAW's tempo. Then you have the gain mode, which is in many ways similar to the sequencer mode in V1, which is also present in uh, version 2, but it's independent from the grid that you set in your DAW, basically. Uh, any of the divisions can be triggered at any moment. Let's give it a listen. <laughs> And this one has the pendulum mode, just like the sequencer. And finally, you have a sidechain mode, which is essentially pretty much the same thing as the follower mode, uh, but with the difference that the envelope comes from the sidechain input in your DAW uh, or from another track rather than from the track that you're working on. I think in general the new motion modes expand drastically what transit can be used for and in a way they increase the versatility and the creative options for this plugin, which is now much more capable of creating dynamic effects rather than just transitions. The new motion modes are only a small part of what version 2 of transit offers. Uh, Baby Audio added 10 brand new modules to the already extensive selection of effects. I won't go through all of them in this video, there's 
really a lot of stuff from an improved pitch shifter with many cool features to a beautiful sounding uh, analog chorus, but I want to show you a few examples with a selection of my three favorite additions. The reverser, as its name suggests, reverses incoming audio, taking it from a buffer, which can have uh, different lengths, and then you can change the playback speed, which can be halved or double, which is pretty cool. Let's have it a listen in LFO mode. Now I'm going to half the speed. Double it. Really love this one. Uh, let me add some analog chorus and auto pan to this preta. Very inspiring, a really cool little tool. Next, I want to try the uh, retro reverb, which is really, really cool over here. And this is kind of a dirtier alternative to Transit's primary reverb, which is more kind of digital and pristine. I mean, this is obviously digital as well, but this has more a vintage grainy sound. I actually have a specific preset that I made and really like that uses extensively the retro reverb. Let me find it. There you go. Some retro reverb and some phaser. And the last one that I want to show you is the speaker emulation, uh, which is basically the ultimate uh, lo-fi weapon. This is my dry signal. And this is with the speaker modulated with the in LFO mode. Let's have the LFO impact some of the drive. And let's pair this with some retro reverb. and really cool. And a last quick thing that I want to add is more of a workflow thing perhaps, but I think it's very welcome addition and is the fact that now both the mix and the out of volume parameters can be modulated by the motion mode of choice. Uh, so whatever you choose. So if you have a macro, for example, now you can assign mix to be also modulated by the macro and same thing with out, which is a little utility that kind of makes life easier and definitely reduces the amount of time that I spend like drawing automation for mix and out that I kind of found myself uh, programming uh, using version one. That's all I have for you today. Go check out Transit on the Baby Audio website. I'll drop a link in the description down below and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.